Hello guys and welcome, and in this video I'm going to tell you what a metal detector is and how a metal detector works. First of all, let's find out what a metal detector is. It is an electronic device that gives an audible or other signal when it is close to metal, for used for example to search for buried objects or to detect hidden weapons. A metal detector consists of a search coil and the computer that processes the information given by the search coil. Search coil generally consists of two internal sets of coiled wires, a transmit coil and a receive coil. When the detector is turned on, the transmit coil generates a magnetic field in the surrounding space. When a metallic object is within the generated magnetic field, it will create a distortion in the magnetic field. The uh, receive coil will sense this distortion and send a signal to the control housing. A search coil detention pattern is determined by the combination of the transmit coil's generated field pattern and the receive coil's sensing field pattern. Now we know what a metal detector is, let's uh, discuss how it works. So, well, I just told you how it works, but let's get more specific. So basically, uh, what's a very important part of a metal detector is how deep it can search. The most important part of a metal detector is its search coil, because it does all the work of a, uh, that, that the metal detector does. So, uh, a very important question that people ask when uh, buying a metal detector is how deep can it detect? The answer is really simple. The bigger the search coil, the deeper it detects. But the, uh, it doesn't mean that the biggest coils are the best. Because even though they detect uh, deeper, the, uh, they cannot detect small objects. It's harder for them, and uh, that's why I do not recommend buying a big coil, big search coil. So basically, what you should consider when buying a search coil is what you're gonna look for. If you're gonna look for big items like maybe shovels and treasure chests underground, then probably you should you would need a big coil. But if you're looking for some small items like coins, rings, then you would probably need a small smaller coil and uh, of a certain type that I'm gonna discuss later in the video. In addition to different search coil uh, sizes and shapes, there are a lot of uh, types and configurations uh, of search coils available, each proving the best choice depending on the hunting applications and the ground conditions. The configuration of a search coil refers to the arrangement of the T uh, of the transmit coil and the uh, receive coils within the search coil shell. There are basically four configurations: concentric mono, imagine, and double D uh, search coils. The concentric coil configuration consists of a uh, T coil and the R coil, which are usually circular and arranged as shown in the left, one inside and one outside. The advantage of this configuration is that the both T coil and the R coil uh, are wound as large as possible with the given search coil diameter. This provides the largest possible detection field and the greatest detection depth, making the concentric coil potentially the most sensitive configuration available. In addition, concentric coils also provide the most symmetrical detection field, allowing ease in pinpointing and consistency in target detection. For these reasons, they are most uh, commonly used search coils and will provide the best overall performance in most environments. Unfortunately, this configuration is the most susceptible to inference from ground minerals, uh, which results in substantial loss of performance when used over heavily mineralized grounds like prospecting for gold nuggets and to use it on the beach. So I wouldn't recommend it for these purposes. A mono coil is available only in pulse induction detectors and is a variation of concentric configuration. The monocoil 
can be manufactured with a T uh, coil and R coil located together, or a single coil acting both as a T coil and an R coil. The detection and performance characteristics of the mono are essentially the same as the concentric in that it provides the maximum possible sensitivity but suffers some performance in, in highly mineralized ground. An imaging search coil is an enhanced version of the concentric configuration that features the additional RX coil or the uh, receiving coil. This extra coil provides the detector with an additional target information necessary for true target depth uh, perception and true target sizing capabilities. With this additional sizing information, the detector can more fully characterize the target and for the first time distinguish between trash and good targets of the same conductivity, uh, such for example a quarter against a nail. Only Garrett GDI series offers this technology and no other detector in the world has this capability. So if you want it, you should probably try the Garrett GDI series. Well, it's also kind of expensive, so maybe not the best option as a beginning metal detector. The double D configuration is designed to significantly reduce ground interference and thereby recover the performance lost by the concentric coil over mineralized soil. With the double D, it is the arrangement of the T coil and the R coil that produce the cancelling effect of the ground signals. This configuration is called the double D because both the transmission coil and the receiving coils are in the same shape of a D. The positive detection field of a, a double D runs beneath the overlapping uh, center section from the front to back. The remaining portion of the coil is that actually produces negative, uh, also known as cancelling detection fields. The, uh, it is the cancelling field that allows the double D coil to maintain performance over the mineralized ground. Because of its small detection field, the double D uh, inher is inherently less sensitive than the concentric search coil of the same size over non mineralized mineralized ground. The double D will, however, significantly outperform the concentric coil over mineralized ground. For this reason, it is highly recommended when hunting over mineralized ground, commonly found when prospecting and relic hunting, or just exploring uh, on the beach. Now knowing this information, we can conclude that the concentric coil is the best coil to use over non-mineralized ground. A monocoil is basically the same as the concentric coil. The imaging coil is better than concentric over non-mineralized ground, uh, but it is more expensive. The double D coil outperforms uh, the concentric coil and is better than the concentric coil over uh, mineralized ground, but it doesn't do as well over non-mineralized ground. I'm going to show you a chart of levels of ground mineralization and performance of the coils and that's gonna like show you better okay so basically uh, what I would recommend to buy as a beginning a uh, metal detector or a metal detector coin is a double D because most of the places where you would detect uh, are like the ocean maybe the dirt uh, or the desert which are basically high mineralized grounds if you are going to detect in a city, in a park, maybe on a playground, then probably concentric is going to be way better. And basically that's it. Please like the video if it was helpful. If you want to know the specific uh, metal detector version, which I would recommend, I would re uh, recommend the White MX Pro Sport metal detector with its coil that goes from the end, it's a double D coil and it distinguishes between metals, and it can discriminate metals, and it's really good metal detector. Thanks all for watching, thanks all for listening, and for your attention. Hope this video was helpful. Thank you all, uh, good luck, goodbye, good hunting, if you're gonna buy a metal detector, and see you in the next video.